Hi everyone, how's it going? In this tutorial, we're going to cover comments in Python. How do you make a comment? What is a comment? And what makes the difference between a good and a bad comment? So all that a comment is in your code is a pound symbol or a hashtag, whatever you call it, followed by anything. So I'll write, this is a comment. Um, and all that this says to the interpreter, uh, this pound symbol right here, is that anything that comes after that, stop trying to read it. Don't look at it, and it just goes on to the next thing. Uh, it's a little bit more for the interpreter to do, but not really. So this is important. It doesn't really matter how long it takes to run your code. It It's more important that it's clear to somebody reading it, and that's how you write good code. Um, so another thing that you could do would be to write print hello. Oh, I forgot we're in Python 3. <laughs> hello. And then I could write a comment actually in that same line of code, but after my statement. So I would say this line uh, greets the user. So this would be an example of a pretty good comment. This line of code is really too simple uh, to do anything meaningful. I, I probably wouldn't put a, code, a comment like this, but your code can get really convoluted sometimes, and it's useful to people who come after you or to yourself a few weeks later uh, when you're a zombie and you can't remember what you were coding. You say, what was I doing then? What was I? What did I mean to do? Why did I do this for loop and this conditional? Um, so I'm going to copy and paste in just some horrible piece of code. Uh, wrong one. Weird, how did that get on there? Okay, so this is actually in Python too, but if I were to use a big program like this, um, I could actually comment out the entire block. It's technically not a comment, um, it's like a, a print doc string statement or something like that. I don't fully understand exactly what it does because it does display it as an output after your line of uh, after you run the cell. Um, but this is a good way to get rid of a big block of code without having to comment each individual line like this. And you could have hundreds of lines of code that you just needed to get rid of for some reason, or not really get rid of, but just stop running temporarily. And so you can see each time that I put in one of these comment blocks, the entire thing turns blue. But that's just uh, a nice trick to know if you ever have to move around big chunks of code at a time. So I wanted to give you an example of good versus bad comments. This is actually in Python 2, but it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. So this is an assignment I did for class, um, and it's a program that, well, I'll show you what it does. Basically, it says, this program calculates maximum heart rate and preferred target heart rate zones. Please input your age. So your maximum heart rate is 220 beats per minute, uh, minus your age in rough terms. So my age is 22. So your maximum heart rate is 198. Please indicate your exercise objective as follows. And you can put in one, two, or three, depending on your objective. We'll say three interval workouts. Your target rate heart rate zone is 158.4 or more beats per minute. And that's based off of a percentage of my maximum heart rate. Um, so this program is pretty simple. But if I were to just look at this, and maybe if I didn't have all these strings, it would be kind of unclear. So I'm going to try to write some comments in here to explain what my program is doing. Um, so this is just a program description. So I could write here maybe um, program description. And you could be as specific or vague as you want to be. Um, usually more specific is better. Uh, depending on who you think is going to be reading it. I mean, are you constantly engaged with this project? Um, you could even put a comment at the very top. Uh, heart rate calc later. <laughs> can't spell. Uh, age. Input of please input your age. So I could say this line or that. I probably wouldn't even need that. Um, ask the user for his or her age. Um, then I could explain what this does. Uh, your max heart, 
heart rate is 220 BPM minus age. Uh, and all this in red, depending on what interpreter you're using, or not interpreter, editing environment, um, you're going to get different colors for this. Or if you're just using a plain text editor, you won't get any colors. Um, but this is actually idle. Um, but you know, you could keep doing this for each line of code. And this is pretty simple, but when you get into bigger chunks of code uh, and working on personal projects with uh, all kinds of different functions and things, you could even uh, name your functions a little bit better. And it's just part of being a better programmer. So I think it's important to talk about this stuff early because when people are interacting with computers, they tend to treat them like people who are really obstinate and they can't uh, they can't do what they want them to. Uh, when I started coding, actually, I kept running the same cell over and over again, thinking, oh, maybe this time it'll be different. So I'm going to talk about this in another video. But yeah, so I'm just hoping that you, from this video, get a little bit of a better idea of how to write an intelligent code. Um, yeah, so leave me a comment and some feedback. And uh, looking forward to doing the next tutorial. Thanks.